old man was trying to tell the future, looking for pictures in the campfire. Oh, I see evil, evil born deep beneath the city. Far from the light of day, I see it growing safe beneath a sky of steel, scheming in the dark, gathering strength. And now, oh, now the evil spreads. It sends deadly feelers over the land above, across the gap, reaching towards this very place. I'd seen him do it a hundred times, but I humored him. After all, he'd been like a father to me. And what does this evil want here? Oh, my son, I fear, I fear the evil wants you. That was when Joey piped up. Sensors detect incoming audio source. The evil, the evil is nearly here. It sounded more like a copter than a demon. But the next thing, all hell went loose in anyway. Run, Foster, run! Hide from the evil! Foster! Help! Better make my next body move faster, Foster! He was only a robot. Oh, I love the little guy. Then, as suddenly as it started, the shooting stopped. There was a moment's silence as the copter cut its rotors. Then... Whoever is in charge here, come forward. Now! Only a fool would have argued with that firepower. I am the leader of these people. We are peaceful. Bring him here. At once, Commander Reich. We're looking for someone. Someone who doesn't belong here. Who wasn't born in this garbage dump. Who came from the city as a child. We want to take him home again. My mind racing. I remembered where I'd seen that symbol before. It was the day the tribe found me, the day of the crash, the day my mother died. You all right, city boy? Got a name, son? R Robert. Ah, oh, welcome to the Gap, Robert. As he patched me up, the old man had gently explained that there was no way back into the city, and I already knew there was nothing he could do for mother. His tribe was poor, but they treated me like one of their own. I learned how to survive in the wasteland they called the Gap, and scavenging from the city dumps. As the years passed, I forgot my life in the city, discovered new talents. Ha! I'm your friend. Call me Joey. And got a second name. This is what we'll call you, now that you've come of age, son. We found you, fostered you, so that makes you Robert Foster. Wasted enough time. Give us the runaway, or we'll shoot everyone. Starting with you, Granddad. The old man had been right for once. It was me they wanted. No, my son. Don't let the evil take you. Run! DNA scan confirms it's him, sir. Evil had come to the gap, just as he said. Take him. But had the old man seen why it wanted me, or what it would do next? It was too late to ask him now. Leaving destruction zone, Commander Reich. Good. Detonate. Much too late. Why, you murdering? Keep him quiet! All I could do was wait. Just like on a hunt. Just like the old man taught me. Wait, and be ready. It was dawn when we reached the city. Land in the central security compound. A dawn my tribe would never see. They were no more than a note in Reich's book now. Yes, sir. Locking on automatic landing beacon. But what was I? Why did... Sir! The guidance system! It's gone crazy! We're going to hit! Maybe I'd get some answers now. If I survived another copter crash.
What you want? Looking for a saboteur from the Gap. He crashed a chopper and escaped. Oh, sounds dangerous to me. Don't worry, he's not going anywhere. We cut the power to the elevator. And the crash has blocked the walkway. What if he comes in here? You'll be fine. We posted guards. And Reich wants to hunt him down personally. Right, eh? This guy must be important. Yeah, we got orders direct from Link. Take him alive before he does any more damage. Best of luck to you. These guys are out to get me, but why? They already destroyed my home and my people. Well, Reich, whoever you are, it's retribution time. Gotta be clever. Play them at their own game. First thing is to get Joey running again. Hey there, guys and girls. Welcome to a classic. A classic that I have never had the chance to play because it came out a year after I was born. This game came out in 1994. It's called Beneath a Steel Sky. Now, it was on GOG for free. I recommend if you have GOG, um, definitely pick it up. There's a couple other games I pick, picked up. They also are the people who are hosting or like have the Gwent beta on it right now, so I would definitely recommend going to pick that up as well because I'm a sucker for Gwent and I'm always looking for people to play with. Now, let's, let's, uh, let me pause that because the door is annoying. Let me get, read you a little bit about this game because I didn't know what it was when I clicked on it. Robert Foster is an innocent outsider stranded in a vast city where oppressed civilians live and work in soaring tower blocks. While the corrupt, covetous, and rich lie underground, shielded from all pollution. Alone save for a robot circuit board, Foster must fight for survival and discover the sinister truth behind his abduction. Paranoid population, psychotic criminals, power-hungry corporation, big brother governments, haves and have-nots. In a not-so-impossible future, in the melting pot of Union City, all man's social problems are coming to a boil under the claustrophobic lid of a steel sky. From the pit of the industrial level, to the belly of the commercial sector, to the spheres where the rich and the powerful play, it's man against man. Man against machine. Man against time. In an urban hell only you can liberate. Maybe. Featuring Revolution Software's innovative virtual theater system, Beneath a, St Beneath a Steel Sky is a gripping science fiction point-and-click adventure game in the cyberpunk genre. Over a hundred locations designed and art directed by award-winning comic book director Dave Gibbons of Watchmen fame. His comic book inspired by the game itself is, a com is included to the complete content, which meaning if you download it, you get a manual, which is 15 pages, two security manuals, two HD wallpapers, eight avatars, and the comic book, if you so choose to download this. Now this is an old game, there's only two buttons, F5, well, there's more than two buttons, there's F5, which brings up your main menu, there's P, and then there's your mouse, which is two buttons in itself. So we're gonna save, see I tried to do this before, and the volume wasn't right, so actually we're not gonna save, because we didn't really do anything yet. But I do know what to do. I do have a walkthrough open because I don't know much about these kinds of games. Like I said, this game came out when I was but a wee child. Shut tight. And I thought, just as well there isn't a fire. And I thought, why not give it a try? Who's up there? You won't escape that way! How do you know that? And I gotta get gotta give you guys a break in between all the Tomb Raider and modern games. I love point and click games too. Why you gotta kick the door open? You couldn't where did I go? He must have jumped. Fell all the way to ground level. 
You gotta admire the voice acting. Phew. Lucky escape. Voice acting wasn't a big concern back then, I guess. Sign. Security symbol. That must be their headquarters. Whose headquarters? I like how- Hold on, I gotta shift. Ow, my foot was falling asleep. I like how the main villain, his name was- Doesn't was look Reich. as if it's ever used. Like the third right. Doesn't look as oh, if it's- Oh, no. Open the door. I forget. I forget. He's leaving, because he thinks I'm dead. So we're gonna come down here. I must say, his, his, his little suit jacket is dapper. And I hope you guys like that little intro scene. That was... I was not expecting that when I first booted up the game. Alright, so this press. What's this press doing? It's wheezing and banging. Like an asthmatic dinosaur in the mating season. I think that's gonna be my favorite line in this game. I'm not putting my hand anywhere near there. Can I... put... Metal bar? No. Oh my god, I keep clicking with the wrong button. Okay, no. Obviously not. Now is not the time to put your metal bar in there. Alright, what do we got here? Transporter, elevator, exit, junk. Junk or some. What is that? I keep seeing something flash there junk. Let's go look at the junk. I should have looked at the transporter since I was right there. Whatever. It's got no circuit board. I do have a circuit board. Funny you should ask about that. Whoever you are. Oh, it's moving. Look at it. It's Welcome so cute. back, Joey. Oh. Is this the best shell you could find? Listen, we're in deep trouble. You've turned me into a vacuum cleaner. Oh, get over it. It's functional. Don't be ungrateful. Now, I don't know where we are, or why we were brought here, but I intend to get some answers. I've got a weird reading from my scanner. We're 120 meters above the ground. We've got to find a way down, and keep out of the way of security. Okay, so now we have our little robot friend. Ugh, that's awesome, and I'm gonna save. We're gonna save over the dino mating season because that's where I saved it last time. And with that, I'm gonna end the episode right here. I don't wanna drag it on too long. And I wanna see what your guys' reaction on this is. If you like it, let me know in the comment section and by clicking that thumbs up. And if you don't, also let me know in the comment section. Um, I'm trying to break up all the Tomb Raider stuff. I love that game, but I know you guys probably are getting sick of it and I wanna spread my wings a little bit. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching till the end. Make sure to click on the videos annotated on the screen and click that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.